What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day. So today we are still working on Project Zorro getting the Torque Storm Supercharger kit installed. Um, today's going to be basically taking apart the front of the car to get the intercooler mounted and see how it fits, get it mounted up, mocked up, you know, just uh, basically tackle that scenario and see if we're going to be good with the intercooler. Again, that was an STS Turbo intercooler kit we got from Holly, and it was $100. $100 bill, not sure what they are right now, but it was dirt cheap, so we couldn't pass it up. And since Zorro is my son's car now, I don't really have to wrench or do much. I'm just a camera guy today. As you can see, we got our lounge chairs. There's Project Storm. We're, uh, we're here to assist, so... I'm liking this job. So you can see we got Zorro up on the rack, or should I say my son does. You know, he's in proper work attire today. He's he's wearing... Uh, safety Crocs. Yes, safety Crocs. <laughs> he's wearing safety Crocs. But as you can see, uh, first steps to this intercooler is going to be removing the tire, front tire wheel assemblies. Um, we got to get these the hardware out of the front bumper so we can pull the whole entire front bumper off and dude you need to clean your car like look at the bugs I it's like bug again bug again i clean it all the time dude. so here we go we got the the owner working on the car here trying to get this done need a bit of tune way back here so what are you doing right here guy taking out a little 10 mil I can probably be right up on that oh, stud yep so and then the after you do it you on can the see the side. bolt up there both sides there's a 10 millimeter and then the rest nut. of it is just little clips and just yeah so basically you got those 10 millimeter nuts and the rest of it's just clips and basically that whole like front bumper clip just pew falls off of there I wouldn't say fall. You gotta shimmy that thing a little bit. You gotta bit. shimmy it a little bit? Yeah. Alright, a little bit of shimmying, so we'll find out. My apprentice from last time didn't tighten his nut much because I just gave it a little bit of a bump and now here we go. Oh. <laughs> nice. There you go. Alright guys, so we got our intercooler mocked up. We are going to install it on the car real quick, see how everything fits. But as you can see, this is our crash bar. That goes on the front of the Challenger. And what we've done is more or less kind of cut into the crash bar about halfway to recess the intercooler into the crash bar. Um, because now the radiator and everything is moved forward, we need extra space. And it seems like this is going to work pretty well. It gets our plumbing down below. The crash bar where we should have uh, decent access to it to run our plumbing and this is the front of the crash bar so that's what you'd be looking at at the front of the car um, so again like i said we got it mounted kind of down here we got two bolts and nuts on both sides and uh that's it lots of trimming lots of cutting it did take a few hours to figure this out, but that's what you get when you make it yourself. So let's get it on the car, see what it looks like. All right guys, so we got the crash bar and intercooler assembly mounted back on front of the Challenger. Uh, we got the uh, little bumper support popped back on, but as you can see, the intercooler fits in there really good, clears the radi uh, radiator and the trans cooler pretty nice that's what the bottom looks like gives you a good little 
shot right down here and around to the fender to shoot up for plumbing same thing here shoot out here kind of come right down through here around the fender and into the bay but as you can see she fits looks pretty good so now we're gonna install the, this piece um, we believe this will still fit and be usable also so we're gonna try to put it on real quick and see what happens so yeah it looks like we're clearing the inner cooler just barely on the corners plenty of space in the front here it looks like our locking tabs up here are in place where they need to be so I think we're gonna be good with that heck yeah yeah so that's still usable so we're still pretty factory I'm digging it all right let's get some more stuff on get this bumper on see what we got going on So that's going to do it for today's video. Stay tuned. Um, we're going to come back with some follow-up videos on the rest of this supercharger install. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget, comment down below, give the video a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys on the next one.